Merry Christmas! I hope you're all having a wonderful Christmas, December 25th. It's already here and it's been a dreary, rainy, cold day. We had gale force winds and uh, rain as you saw in the, uh, in the beginning and it's just it's been a crazy crazy day of christmas it doesn't even feel like christmas to be honest to you um it just feels like another day that i cooked a big meal but i cooked a big meal i'm already cleaned up everything's put away and i have been stitching and crafting and just relaxing the majority of the day so i hope you're all able to do the same and have a nice relaxing day with your friends and family so I've had some questions that, and then I have something else I want to just talk about. So first off, I had a question regarding the puffin that is in my intro of my video and where did I get that pattern? I got that pattern from this book called Birds and Animals and Cross Stitch by Jennifer Colby. It is a Dover, right? It is a Dover book. Yep, it's a Dover uh, a Dover Needlepoint book series. It's the Dover Needle Needlework series. I've I've stitched a number, a, a couple of designs out of this one. Primarily the puffin, as well as so here is the picture of the puffin that I've stitched. And I also stitched the. Hmm. It's not here now. Where is? Oh, right here it is. Oh. It's on the front. I've stitched this blue, this blue bu butterfly as a gift for last year's Christmas gift exchange at work. Because our work, uh, image, you know, our, uh, branding is a butterfly. So I stitched that and I stitched the puffin out of this book. I got this book from Michelle Bendy Stitchy uh, as uh, she was doing a giveaway or something of the like. I forget what exactly it was a couple years, three years ago probably. And so I got this book from her and mainly because I wanted to stitch the weasel. But I've not yet stitched the weasel. I think it's a weasel. Is it a weasel? Yeah, the long, long tailed weasel right here. I wanted to stitch the weasel and I've yet to stitch the weasel, but I've stitched other things out of this book. So it's a pretty nice book. I don't know if it's available anywhere or if you can find it, but this is the book that I stitched those patterns out of. All right. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was I get many, many, anytime I ever show like my stitching spot and stuff, I typically have my bobbin box beside me. And this is a two-sided bobbin box. So you can see the two different sides there. This this holds my complete collection of DMC. I have uh, the full collection of DMC starting with uh, zero 01 and working all the way up to whatever the last number is, uh, B5200, but um, 3860 whatever, 3865. So it holds all of that, plus there's still a little bit of extra room. You can see uh, my white is kind of flopping out of there because there's a little bit of extra space. However, so last night I was working on my buzzard and I was looking and looking and looking for a bobbin and I knew I had it, but I could not find the bobbin anywhere. And so I was looking, it was on the, the lower number side and I was like, why isn't it here? And I looked at, I went back and looked at my other bobbin box that I keep, uh, that I have all my threads from Henry VIII, the heaven and earth design in it still, and it wasn't in there. And I looked in all of the, I have one bag, uh, one notions pouch that has my threads in it from, uh, Elizabeth the first, and it wasn't in there. And I'm like, where is my bobbin? And then I, I it was like, I, I always put, I'm, I'm so organized. I always put them back in the same spot. Well, don't you know, I put it in the wrong spot. I think it was 646 or something like that. And where did I find it? I found it in the 400s. So have you guys ever done that? I, I've done that occasionally, but, and whenever you have this many, it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to find. But uh, if, if you're interested in this kind of bobbin box, I got this bobbin box. Uh, off of Amazon. I have two of these. One that has my 
cotton and color or color and cottons and my silks that I have bobbinated and then this is all of my DMC. I really like these boxes because it, it holds everything and then it's all of my DMC is all in one place. So just throwing that out there for you. I don't know if they're still available. I would assume they're still available on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon for I don't know maybe $12 a piece. I can't remember now. But that is my bobbin box and I do like to bobbinate. I like everything bobbinated. I like them in, uh, I use the DMC stickers that you can buy in the stores. I know many people have issues with those stickers. I've never had any major problems with those stickers. They stick onto my bobbins pretty well. Um, I do put a lot of pressure on them whenever I first put them on just so that they stick. And everything's been great so far since. I also am very, I, I don't like, throw my bobbins around a lot. I'm very uh, I'm very careful when I'm handling them. Um, and so I never have issues with the, the 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 floss falling off of them or coming loose and unwinding or anything like that. I, I, I just um, I've been lucky so far, knock on wood, that it, it's all worked out well for me. So alright, so what have I worked on? So last night we had Christmas Eve service I did take my knitting with me and then I went over to my friend's house for dinner. And so I did work on my pay it forward shawl. Again, this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. The pay it forward shawl by Wolf and Fawn Knits. And can I find a better picture of it? Here's what it will look like when it is done. Of course, mine is in a different color. And mine is in the, again, I talked about it yesterday, the Lost Key, which is a 100% super, super wash merino in a sport weight yarn, or what she calls her everyday sport. And then I have the, what is this one called? This is the uh, Blue Fusion. It was a one of a kind. Uh, that again it's it's much more greener than what's showing on the screen and this is her everyday sock yarn I think it's or her twist sock yarn and I put maybe eight more rows in I don't know I'm still working on this big band of blue let me see if that's a little bit closer to what it, uh, the correct colors, but it's still kind of more blue than what it's showing. It's more, sorry, it's more like watery blue, like the greeny blue than what it's actually showing, but I'm still loving it. I think it's a great looking garter stitch uh, shawl. And it's super simple to stitch or to knit or whatever you want to call it. And I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm hoping to have it done here shortly after the new year. And finally, the only other thing I worked on was my buzzards. As I had alluded to earlier in the video, I'm working on the buzzard talk, this one right here. I don't need all these problems. And I've, uh, I've, I, I feel like I've gotten a lot done. I definitely, if I have one or two more days of quality stitching, I will definitely have this one complete. So here's what it looks like now. It's on a 28 count Green Gray Lugana by Exju Designs on Etsy. And uh, this is uh, 28 count one over, I'm sorry, two over two on the 28 count. And there is the progress so far. So this is uh, stitching up pretty nicely. I worked on, I finally finished the wing that took forever to stitch and I, I know the lighting is kind of washing out because it's behind me instead of front of me because again I still have my uh, light over there for my plant today so this is stitching up much quicker uh, no, I'm sorry not quicker but pretty nice I, I finally finished the the wing and then I put the hand in over here not that you can tell that that's a hand I put in the terracotta of the face and then I moved down here and I put in the entire branch. 
So that is all complete. The main like large sections of solid color are all complete. So now I just have the, the, the white puff of its neck. Uh, I have the beak I need to do. And then I have some like the fingernails and stuff like that of the, you know, the black. So I have like three or four colors and then I will be completely done with this stitch. And I'm looking forward to getting it done. It will be a, a complete uh, a finish in 2020. So there we go. That's everything I've worked on today and last night into today. Again, not much progress, but you know, it's also the holiday. So I've been cooking a lot today. My house is extremely warm from the oven running all day. I actually had the window open for a little bit just to cool it down in here. And now I'm going to go back and relax and do some more stitching. I might end up playing my computer game for a little bit tonight. So I don't know. And then I have some bobbinating I need to do. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Merry Christmas. I will see you all tomorrow for another episode of Flossmas 2020, day 26. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful day tomorrow. And as always, don't forget to always be creative.